Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how to plan a decent lesson in five minutes. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. So if you've just finished the CELTA or a similar course, you probably found you were spending hours planning lessons. And that's not something you're going to be able to do when you start teaching. Um, perhaps you're already in your first year of teaching and you're still finding you plan, you spend a lot of time planning. Um, we've all been there. So for this video, I'm going to be referring to the PPP paradigm that you've probably been taught to follow. Um, I'm not saying it's the best, but for now, it'll do. Um, for anyone who didn't learn what PPP is, it stands for Presentation, Practice, Production. So you introduce some new language in the presentation stage, the students practice it, and then they do a freer practice activity. So the best way to plan a lesson is to start from the end. Now, I'm assuming that you're using a course book in your school, so you'll have a topic or theme already uh, from the unit of the course book. So let's pick, for example, travel. Now, the first thing I would do is to think about as many interactions that take place in the world of travel as you can. We can come up with lots of ideas. For example, there's choosing a holiday destination. There's checking in at the airport or the hotel. There's reporting lost baggage. There's making a complaint in the hotel. And after your holiday, you might write a review. So these are all common interactions that take place in the world of travel. And we just need one of these. So I'm going to take making a complaint in the hotel. Now, we can easily define our aim, which is by the end of the lesson, students will be better able to make a complaint in a hotel. This is a clear communicative aim. The freer practice activity also writes itself because the students will do some kind of role play where they make and deal with complaints. So next we can turn to the presentation stage. And the question here is what should we present? What language should we present? And we need to think here about well, what language do students need in order to make a complaint in a hotel. So they will need ways to initiate a complaint. For example, can I speak to the manager? Uh, I'd like to make a complaint. They need language to do with hotel related problems. So for example, uh, too noisy, dirty sheets, disgusting smell. They need uh, some knowledge of remedies. So for example, they might want to move room or they might want a refund or an apology. So they need to know these words and also how to ask for these things. So once we've decided what the target language is, then we need to decide how to introduce this language. And probably the best way to do this would be to show a video of somebody else complaining. If there's no video, we could still find a listening or a dialogue. Um, and we then need to decide how do we highlight this uh, language for students to learn. Do we uh, very explicitly explain these phrases or do we try to get them to pull them out of whatever um, we're giving them? Uh, th these are the smaller choices that you'll still have to make. Okay, now we can turn to the practice stage though. And for this we need to understand what the target language is and also what students will struggle with. So if it's pronunciation, we might plan to do some drilling. If it's about the meaning or the form, then we might use different um, activities like gap fills as a control practice. And then we might want to move to a less control practice where they're asking and answering questions about these things. So once you've got these three parts, you just need to add the, the filler elements. So first of all, how will you introduce the topic of complaining in a hotel? You could use, for example, a clip from one of Gordon Ramsay's shows to elicit things that people might complain about. Um, you also need to think about how you're going to link all of these activities together seamlessly um, and what other things you might do if you get through your whole plan or even um, having some contingencies in case students actually already can do this very well. You might need to change your plan. So that's how to plan a lesson in five minutes. 
Um, you might still need another 30 minutes to get your materials ready and to just work out the minutia. Um, and obviously if you have to write it up, that's going to take you longer too. So if you found this video useful, I'll be very grateful for a subscription, a like, and a sharing among any of your colleagues who might find it useful.